What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rob, so here today I'm joined by two wonderful guests. I got geeked in the Forever World, and uh, this is first and foremost. Can we just for a second talk about this? We got the three of us together in a video for once. Like this is this has been uh, a thing that should happen a long time ago, but we finally got the community together. But uh, I just want to kind of point oh that out my. there because it's really really freaking cool. <laughs> uh, but Dragon Ball Super is getting pretty freaking exciting. Now we're not gonna talk about anything in regards to spoilers because we know nothing. What we're actually talking about today, well technically this concept is spoiler to some people, but this is actual news, so it's not really a spoiler. Today we're discussing the choices that were made to go with Universe 7's team. Now, if you guys remember, in the uh, Shampa versus Beerus arc initially, what they did is, is they had five fighters, which consisted of Goku, Vegeta, Monaka, uh, Piccolo, and uh, who was the last person who I'm missing out? Oh, and Ma Majin Buu. I keep forgetting yes. he was there because he fell Because he never fought. Yeah. He never fought, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And at the, <clears throat> I almost just, uh, just died there. Uh, at the end of the tournament, what happened was uh, they, they revealed that there's going to be another tournament in the future. But here's a twist. It's not going to be 5v5 like last time. And two... Whoever loses, it seems to be uh, the destruction of the universe from how they're hinting at. Now, I don't know if they're actually going to go through with that, but we did see Omnicane destroy universes in the past. So it's one of those things that we'll just kind of have to wait to see what's going to happen when the tournament actually comes to a close. But the interesting thing is the fighters that they chose to go with this tournament, which is why I brought you guys here to kind of discuss this. So before I start, I'll name off the characters and then I'll go down the list to see your own thoughts about this. We have Majin Buu, Krillin. Android 17, Android 18, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Master Roshi, Tian Shinhan, and Piccolo. So many questions there. The first two questions are probably going to flood. The comments is number one, why not Goten and Trunks? Oh, yes. Number two, why Master Roshi? And number three, where's Yamcha? Well, Yamcha is probably still injured from his baseball game. Hey, but hey, that's hey, real hey. now. It's the year of Yamcha, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yamcha is getting re the, the, what's the guy the guy got reincarnated as Yamcha. If we had him, maybe be, he'd be a useful fighter. But for now, uh, the, the Yamcha <laughs> that we got isn't going to work here. But for now, how about we start with you? What are your thoughts on the current team, and what do you think is going to happen with this arc? Okay, uh, well, for starters with the current team, I'm honestly on board with the whole why not go ten and trunks. I know what they're going to use. Oh, they're kids. If this is for the sake of the universe, we can't have them involved or whatever. But still, I mean, these kids were responsible partially for at least stalling Boo from destroying the Earth for a while, yep. you know. Yep. So, I mean, Master will show with them. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be hilarious. I'm sure he's going to have some incredibly funny moments, probably steal a couple episodes with hilarity. Mm -hmm. But still, on a power scale, he's like Goten or Trunks is better than Roshi, better than Krillin. Probably exactly. better than Tien. Piccolo got the strategy, so I'd say, like, even if they're strong, I think Piccolo is still better on a strategy-wise. But, yeah, that, that's where I stand with that. And then um, Boo is a great choice. Um, 18 is way better than um, Goten and Trunks. She's still stronger. Likewise, with 17, I'm really interested to see how he gets roped into this. Although, right. I, I was looking back in the archives, and I was looking at something that Toriyama said about 17, how his life is basically, he had a couple of kids, and he's living in the backwoods, and remember when he revealed their yeah, names? Yeah, he's a park ranger. Yeah, yeah. park ranger. So Which maybe, actually, he's wearing a ranger shirt. It, yeah. uh, it says in his armband. The armband says ranger, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking it, it could be, because it was something he revealed that he did go and meet up with 18 one time, but he didn't reveal his life to her or whatever. I'm kind of curious if they're going to sneak in their real names. Maybe 17 shows up and says, I think she's, is she Lapis or Lazuli? I think she's Lazuli and he's Lapis. I gotta double check. I always get them mixed up too because nobody yeah. ever calls them that. Nobody yeah. ever yeah. calls them Lapis. It'll be a nice little <laughs> Easter egg Dude. if he shows up and actually says, Hey, uh, Lazuli. And she says, You know, my name is 18. Don't call me that no more. And he's yeah. like, uh, Yo, I, I guarantee you we're probably going to get that moment where it's like, oh, you have a real name from Krillin? That'd be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Will you put Android 18 on the on the wedding certificate? <laughs> <laughs> do, we have, do we have to change that now? <laughs> Wacky, uh, bro. I feel like what's going to happen here is number one, since the, obviously there's a big ante, there's a big stake that says if you lose, uh, you lose your universe. Because of that, I feel like killing might be a thing in a tournament, which is a complete guess. Don't go around saying that it's confirmed. <laughs> I'm just guessing. But if killing is indeed in the tournament, that could probably be also another reason why Goten and Trunks were chosen not to be in a tournament. Because like, hey, they're kids. So the way I see it is, and I said this in my video when they had the initial reveal of the gods, which I will link in the description below to those who didn't see that yet. But I said that a possible reason why Roshi was picked over, you know, Goten and Trunks is if killing is allowed in a tournament, you don't want to get the kids involved with that. Because like, if a kid dies, well, that that's their short life. Roshi's lived a long life, a really long life. How Very old is he long. <laughs> Like over, 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 almost over 300 years old, really. 
Oh, that was way off. I thought he was like 150. It's even older than I thought. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I, I don't even remember. Honestly, I'm just making up numbers. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't remember, bro. I don't remember everything. I remember now, a lot, but not everything. Well, I do want to address the immortality thing. Do you want to break that down real fast? Because I know there's going to be someone in the comments saying, well, well, Roshi's immortal. Can he yeah, he's, like, he's not immortal. All right? That's life. it. He drank from like a fountain of youth, right? It's pretty much yeah. like age-wise, he can age really, really old. Yeah, yeah, well, the, the whole thing comes from the fact that when he was, they were getting ready to fight Piccolo, he lied to Tenshin Han, to Tiani, told him he was immortal, and then when he knocked him out, he's like, I'm really not immortal, but I didn't want you to get involved in the fight because you're young and I'm old or something like that. That's pretty which much what they got yo. that goal. What I feel like, yeah, which is why I feel like they have him in this tournament instead. The other thing about Goten and Trunks I did want to mention is even though Goten and Trunks are stronger than a lot of these characters in this tournament, uh... They, their forte is fighting as Gotenks, and I feel like, you know, they can't do that because that's two people, basically. So well, another well, reason why I feel like they ruled Goten and Trunks out, because Gotenks is like the go-to character. Unless they were to say, oh, you know what, special rule, you guys are a lot to do that. What were you going to say, Geekdom? No, I was just going to say, I think we are going to get an explanation as to why they're not in there. Oh, and we I definitely think are. Yeah, and I think they're going to probably have a thing where they're going to be like, oh, we're out of guys, and then 18's going to be like, well, I have a brother, and then they're going to find 17. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, but the thing that I definitely want to stress... Dude, I didn't even think about that. That's a good one right there. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to have the whole team, and then it's going to be like, well, we need one more person. Now, I, as a longtime Dragon Ball fan, I, I kind of wish they would have dug even deeper and pulled out, like, instead of Roshi, pulled out, like, Devil Man or one of these characters from classic Dragon Ball. Because remember, the Devil Might Beam will kill you if you have evil inside of you. You know, so that's a useful technique against, you know, a different universe. But that's just me being a fanboy. I was just going to say that... One thing I want to stress to everybody is that, you know, people are still going to say, what could 18 and 17 do? Well, it is stated from Toriyama that because they're artificial humans, because like we talked about, Lapis Lazuli is their real names, they are humans, they can train and become stronger. The, the 18 and 17 are not just capped off. They have unlimited energy, but they also can train and, you know, become stronger. So even if they might seem weaker, we might mm -hmm. see them a lot stronger in the tournament. Plus, I also want to, another big, huge misconception is the... I guess people like saw half the episode and didn't watch the second half, but there's another misconception where people think that Krillin wished for 18 to be human. Uh, what happened was he wished for her to be human, and then the dragon said, I cannot do that because, you know, it goes over my power, aka she's already a human. She just has, you know, cybernetic enhancements. So uh, instead, Krillin wished to remove her bomb from inside yeah. of her stomach, you know, her in 17. So, yep. but for some reason, a lot of fans think that he wished for her to be human, but that actually, that wish did not actually come to fruition. She is a human, but she's not fully human. She's like a, an yeah. enhanced human, a cyborg, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, also, let me just correct that. Uh, in uh, the Japanese, in the, in the sub, isn't she referred to as a cyborg? Because I know in, they they uh, abbreviated at 17, 18, and 16 as C, C17, C16. That, you, you're, that's old school, bro. Okay, so I'll, real quick, I'll go through that quickly. So, Japanese is Gene Zoningen, artificial human. But when Trunks is talking to Goku when he's first giving him the heart virus, he's like, you know, Gene Zoningen, blah, 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 cyborgs. He's like, they are or also cyborgs. But in some of the old subtitles, like from, I'm talking about like the fan subs, the bootlegs, they are referred to as C-17 and C-18, and I believe in the French dub, I think they're called C-17 and C-18. Exactly, so yeah. That's where that's from. Yeah, that's old school. That's something from like the like the mid-90s when, when bringing up C-17 and C-18. Yeah, well, the reason why I say it is because Cyborg is just an enhanced human, essentially. That's why. It's the not, same not thing. Here's, here's, a, here's a question. Yeah, uh, if we, Because we kind of completely dismissed Yamcha in the beginning, but in reality, Yamcha is better than Roshi, and he's probably, because I think confirmed Krillin's the strongest human or whatever, but he's close to Krillin or whatever, so why Roshi over Yamcha, apart from, of course, the fact that it's funny? So, what... I, I mentioned this in my video also yesterday, but the reason why I feel like they picked Roshi over Yamcha is because Yamcha's a meme. <laughs> He's just a joke. I mean, he doesn't fight. And I guarantee you, they'll probably say something like in the anime where it's like, oh, well, Yamcha's still injured from his baseball game. I guarantee oh, you man. they're going to say that. Yeah, so, it's possible. The thing is, though, is you got to remember, one of the coolest things about Resurrection F is when we saw Tien Shinhan fight as well as Roshi. When Roshi went buff, I remember the entire theater jumped yeah, up yeah. and just started, ooh. Like, getting that moment again... Whether he wins or loses is going to be epic, and I'm excited to see that. And on top yeah, of that, I, I love yeah. Tien's fight style. And if he like fights, like they bust out the martial arts and like really take their time in the animation and like the choreography, that fight could be incredible. So I'm hoping that that's actually what happens when it comes down to it. Plus, I think Roche is a good pick for the team because he also has lots of many many years of knowledge. Yeah, uh, I think that would help out as well. Yeah, no, I I, I think yeah, I think there's going to be a reason for all this uh, why they're picked because there yep. are. 
as far as Krillin being the strongest human, he is only on a technicality though, because like I said, 17 and 18 are humans, but Toriyama was talking about like, I guess 100% yeah. like natural humans. Because even mm -hmm. Tenshin Han, even Tien was revealed to be a, uh, what was it, a uh, descendant of an alien tribe. So, I mean, he's not even 100% human. Yeah. So, uh, I guess so the, the question I want to ask everyone who's watching this video for me this far, of the 10 warriors, who are you looking forward to the most? Now, obviously, Gohan, 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 go, Gohan, Gohan, yeah, Gohan. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm going for it. Waiting to hear us talk a little bit about Gohan because that's the elephant in the room. Man, you should I... say besides <laughs> Gohan. <laughs> no, no, I want I want everybody to pick the pick and say why. Now, Gohan is obviously my number one pick, but my second pick is actually 17? Boo. I'll talk about okay. Boo in a second. I love uh, Boo. Gohan is my number one, obviously, because I've been wanting this man to do something awesome. To kind of just trigger my inner childhood when we used to see Gohan rage, and I want to see that come back. And on top of that, they've been kind of hyping him up for the past like three arcs. Like he's been training. Every time we see him, he's always like kind of sweating out of breath. Like he's actually doing something. So I want to see the fruits of his labor. You know, obviously Piccolo is a great trainer. He knows the strategy. He's gonna like learn the strategies of Piccolo, and you know he's got the hybrid inside of him, being half Saiyan, half human. Like Gohan can do some amazing stuff when it comes down to it. So that's why I'm, I'm hyped to see what Gohan can do in this tournament. I'm hoping that Toriyama doesn't kick us in the balls and give us another like. Freeze a moment where basically Gohan doesn't do anything. But the reason why I picked Boo is because I feel like Boo awesome. is. Well, he's awesome, yeah, but I feel like he's kind of the underdog here where it's like, Boo has so many ways where the fight can be interesting. Number one, he could either do something as silly as go into the fight and in the first 10 seconds just turn his opponent <laughs> to candy and eat them. It would be freaking hilarious if that happens. But the other thing is, is if you think deeper, what, what if they like have. And this is this is actually something that was speculated in the original tournament in the Sean Park. What if we see Boo go beyond and like even do something as as silly as transform or something? Because we do know the well, we we don't know this, but based on the extended universe, the the Boo race or the Majins, I guess the Majin Boos, can revert back to their purification, which is basically turning to kid Boo. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but if we can see some kind of like crazy like oh shit moment with Boo, I think it'd be exciting. Everybody else, I, I mean, I know what to expect with Goku, Vegeta. Like I said, I'm excited to see Tien fight because his fight style. Piccolo is obviously a strategist. Seventeen, I'm kind of neutral about it just because I never really cared that much Aww. about Seventeen. Well, he that, was he was pretty impressive Piccolo, in his yeah. fight with Piccolo. I think Piccolo he was. Seventeen. That's what very I was underrated to say. fight. He was, but I'm kind of still triggered from Dokkan. <laughs> I can't stand Seventeen and Eighteen because they keep summoning those damn cards. So until I see Seventeen actually come back, I'm not as hyped about him. Yeah, but he's yeah. got that badass choke hold he put on Tension on in the series where he choked him out. I want to see yeah. that choke Here's holding. the thing. Yeah. I'm also curious to know if he did any training in between. I mean, for all we know... So I think the did... first four episodes or five episodes should be training, I think. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, know, here's what you the say? thing about Gohan, which I'm almost certain that he's going to have a very awesome moment and his power is going to just be out of this world. Um, I think when we went into Super, a lot of us were using that kind of mindset of, that we had with Z. And based off the Trunks arc at the very least, I think a little bit of logic has been, well, maybe I'm going overboard with saying a little bit, but uh, a little bit of logic has gone out the window as far as the um, <clears throat> power scaling or whatever and how they jump up. Because look what yes. happened with Trunks. He went from not being able to go up against Goku Black normal to he's kicking his ass and then ultimately defeating with a Genki Dama sword, uh, you know, the Murd Samus. Chuck... Chuck Norris, he's yeah. Chuck Norris and Dragon so Ball. So Gohan, <laughs> he has that opportunity as well to jump up, especially the fact that Gohan at the end of the Boo arc was way stronger than what Trunks was in the Cell Saga, and if he had that crazy of a jump, Gohan can do it too. Mm -hmm. That's right. I agree. They're yeah. half-breeds. Yeah. So I guess in the comment section below, just let us know your overall thoughts on the Team Universe 7 pick, who you're most hyped to see, and basically any speculation theories that you guys have based on, you know, what we just talked about, too. We want to hear from you guys, the community, so just drop that down below. And obviously, the second we find out any more news, leaks, and all that good stuff, stay tuned to my channel, for Never Channel and Geekdom, because we will keep you guys in the loop with all the Dragon Ball-related stuff. So, so yeah. Uh, gentlemen, anything else before we end this? All I'm going to say is if Gohan takes an oh. L in the first round, with like, that's, I, I, I can just, Im that, that's gonna that's be it. the, that's it. I, I, that's that, nail in the coffin, <laughs> nail in the coffin. <laughs> I might, I might leave Twitter that whole day because I, I'm not, or, or and all social media, because I'm not gonna believe the amount of hatred spewed from people over <laughs> Super if Gohan gets one shot it out, bro. It's like, part of me, the, the sadistic evil side of me wants to see it, but the, uh, the, the, the fan side doesn't, but I just think, I right. can't imagine if they, built him up like this and then one shot at him out. Hopefully not. Listen, man, if Gohan takes an L in the first second, we're all deleting <laughs> our YouTube channel. No, no. I'm just kidding. We're not. We're not going to do that. I'm, I'm not, not doing it. I'll delete a channel. I'll delete right, Mr. Or something. <laughs> 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 
Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like button below and all that good stuff. And let us know your thoughts on Universe 7's team. And I guess we'll just take over there. So we'll see you guys in comments. Like I said, check out Forever and uh, Geek Them, which I will link in the description below as always. And we'll just take over there. So we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll see you guys in the comment section below.